Our devotional thought from Psalms today comes from a very, very beautiful passage. Psalm 16, verses 7 to 9. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is my right, right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. Now, there's so much truth in that. There's so much amazing truth in that. I know that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. <laughs> because God's with me. I don't care how many people attack, God is with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. You need to get that one in your heart. But the one I want to show you today is, even at night, my heart instructs me. Now, here's my question for you. How do you use the quiet hours in the night? That time when you lay down and you haven't fallen asleep yet, those times that you wake up in the middle of the night, <laughs> i tell you a little secret. I used to sleep about four hours a night most of my life. After, since I've gotten older, I find that I sleep more. And with the COVID thing, Sister Bev says you need to stay in bed more and rest so that you'll stay healthy. I, I never was good at staying in bed. I've always lived by this principle, when you wake up, get up. But when I wake up, I'll sleep about four hours, and then I wake up. I was reading an interesting article that talked about how pre-industrial age, before the Industrial Revolution in the world, when basically the world was all agricultural, people would go to bed not too long after sundown because it cost money to light things. And then they would wake up in the middle of the night, and the whole family would get up. And they would go to the bathroom, they would talk, they would start cooking some things for the next day, they would go out and check on the animals, take care of the animals, and then they would go back to bed a second time and then wake up when the sun came up. I thought, okay, I'll, I'll try this. So I'll go to sleep, sleep for four hours, wake up. When I wake up, I'll get up for a little bit and then I'll go back to bed. But when you're in those waking hours in the middle of the night, what do you think about? Now, I've got you thinking, okay? I've got you thinking because none of us just goes to bed and is comatose until the next morning. We all have those seasons when we wake in the night. And listen to what David says. My heart, even at night, my heart instructs me. My heart instructs me. Now, Jesus said, Luke 6, verse 45, a good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart, and an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. Ah, Proverbs says in 4 verse 23, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the direction or the course of your life. It's very important what you put in your heart. It's very important that you don't fill your heart with violence, with sex, with pornography, with with bitterness, with hurt, with rage. Have you ever noticed when you go to bed mad, you wake up madder? Yeah, because you sit there and you think about the things that made you mad. When you go to bed worried, you wake up more worried because you just keep chewing on those things that, that have you worried. Can I encourage you, put good things in your heart. And when you lay upon your bed at night, I have to tell you, that's when I have some of the best sermon ideas yet. I mean, when I'm sitting down trying to figure out how to present something to the congregation, as I lay there on the bed, all these ideas just, just flow. My heart instructs me. But you've got to keep putting the word into your heart. Some of you businessmen, when you're trying to figure out a solution to something, pray about it, study some scriptures about that subject, and then when you go to bed, think about those scriptures that deal with the problem that you're facing in your office or in your company or in your career or in your family. And watch yourself as your heart instructs you in the night and clarity comes and an ability to make a decision comes. Don't waste those hours of thinking of bad things. Let those seasons in the night, let your heart instruct you.